three million years ago, East Africa shimmered with sunlit grasslands and blue waterholes. This is Australopithecus afarensis, an early hominid, not in the genus Homo. Walking on two legs, the group searches for water and food. Knowing the shoreline is always risky. Roots, wild fruits, and insects fuel their everyday struggle to survive. Wading birds act like sentries. A single odd ripple can trigger alarm beneath the calm surface. An ancient predator lies in wait. A giant Nile crocodile surges up the bank. Jaws gaping. Teeth flashing. Water explodes. The group jerks back on instinct. The adult male steps forward, growling back at the attacker. His face is projecting. Chinless. Classic afarensis, tense with focus. Grips a heavy stone. Long arms ready to strike. It isn't a crafted weapon, just a quick tool grabbed from the ground. The female hugs her infant and backs into taller grass. Out of reach. Short calls ripple through the group, a simple warning system. The crocodile rumbles. Armor glistening, black and gold in the mud. The gap closes. One tail whip could end the fight. The male drops his weight, bracing for the lunge. He swings for the snout, the crocodile's most sensitive target. Water bursts upward. The blow isn't fatal, but buys precious space. Younger animals pelt small stones and churn the mud to blind it. The plan is simple. Make noise. Cause confusion. Then slip away. The crocodile hesitates. Weighing risk against reward. In nature, avoiding a pointless fight is also a victory. The afarensis tighten formation. Shielding the infant in the middle. They keep clear of the water. Grab only what they need. And move on. Roots. Fallen fruit. And insects are gathered quickly, with no lingering. Walking upright frees their hands to carry food and stones for defense and curved fingers still make them strong climbers at night. Their brains are smaller than ours. But teamwork shifts the odds. Grunts, gestures, and eye contact pass. Enough meaning to act together. The pond grows quiet again as water birds resume their stroll. Crocodile eases back into the blue, waiting for an easier chance. This encounter ends without injury, a rare outcome here. By staying alert as a unit, the group keeps access to vital water. They leave along a path of thick grass, ripples fading behind. For this ancient ape is a chain of life or death choices. No fire. No refined tools, just memory of terrain and trusted allies. Bold when needed and careful when it counts. They pull through. From such small steps, the long path of our relatives took shape. Forensis' story of survival continues across the plane. 